Alexa, stop. <coughs> hey. Had, wow, no, that was so embarrassing. I'm never doing that again. Hey, everyone. So, you're not gonna lie. It's my life has not been great recently. But I'm going to wear the spoons with some of my friends for drinks. So, I need to look hot. And I do not right now. <laughs> I don't need to look hot but I want to look hot because I think it will make me feel better and it will make me actually want to socialise because I'm in one of those periods where I feel really lonely but I don't want to socialise and I don't want to do anything and it's really counterproductive. I honestly have the most questionable outfit on so I've got my tights and skirt on for a sixth form and then I've literally just got this hoodie on. I'm going to make my bed because it looks atrocious but I thought they do like a mini get ready with me. I was meant to go clubbing tonight, I bought my ticket and everything and now I'm just like I do not want to go. Um, I do have work in the morning though, so it's kind of, I've kind of justified it. As for a refund, who knows if I'll get it, it wasn't too expensive. Also I did my nails the other day, and they low-key came out cute, like, I wanted to get orange for like autumn and stuff, because today's the 1st of October, they actually came out really cute, I quite like them. I started doing my hair, um, yeah i also feel like i'm definitely getting seasonal depression because the rain is killing me off like i can't deal with waking up and it being raining every morning i'm gonna start with my hair i'm literally just gonna straighten it and then i'm gonna do my front pieces um like my fringe fringe frame frame pieces autumn is literally one of my favorite seasons like i just love it so much it's like the premise of like winter and christmas coming winter and christmas is coming and um i just love the autumn colors like the oranges of the leaves on the trees and everything but uh, i don't know it just doesn't feel good this year <laughs> it just doesn't feel good and i i don't know like but I, at the same time i still like love it just Every morning I wake up and it's raining and I like, in sixth form we go out and we literally got caught in the rain so bad earlier, like it was raining, f we were literally outside for like three minutes and I walked in and my friend goes to me, you're absolutely drenched, like we were soaked, we were only out there for five minutes. Um, we literally went and got Starbucks and I got a pumpkin spice frappuccino because they're so good. I was out with my friends last night and we just like did a random like nightly Tesco trip and also went to Starbucks. I've had like two Starbucks in the past four, like 24 hours, which I'm not mad about but my bank is definitely mad about. Um, but like we walked into Tesco and we were just like bimbling around kind of picking up stuff that any of us needed. I still forgot something I need which is typical. Um, but we were walking around and we were down like the cosmetics um, toiletry section. And we walked past the hair dye. I was like, should I dye my hair? Because it's a thought that keeps popping into my mind. Um, and I feel like with any like big changes in my life, I always want to change my hair. Um, and I was literally like, I keep thinking about dyeing my hair. And my friend was like, yes. Um, but obviously it's got to be a natural colour for my sixth form. Um, so I was like, well, we're kind of limited on options here. And if anything, when I was thinking about it, I was always thinking of going darker because I don't know if like it's ever been seen on my channel, but this time last year, I took two pieces from the back underneath of my hair and bleached them and then dyed them orange. I have dyed over my hair since then, but obviously you can still see it. I can go darker and then hopefully it will get rid of these bits at least for like a small amount of time. I also do really like my natural hair colour. Maybe I will dye my hair at some point again. Um, and I can just say I wanted to get rid of the orange bits instead of people thinking I'm having a mental breakdown. Fun fact, when I was younger, so like 7, 8, 9, I really wanted like my hair cut like, a stereo like stereotypically what a boy has his hair cut like. And it's just the complete opposite now that I've grown up. And it's just crazy to think that, like, when I was younger I wanted my hair short and now all I want is my hair to be long. My parents never let me cut it like a stereotypical boy haircut. Or I guess you could call it a pixie cut, but it wasn't, I don't think I, well, no, I didn't really want a pixie cut. Like, I just wanted super short hair. My parents never let me have it cut super short. 
they only ever let me have a bob which looks horrendous because like I said I have naturally curly hair and I was like seven or eight and I didn't style my hair like it just dried naturally so it genuinely looked like I looked like Willy Wonka but like really really bad like a really unattractive female Willy Wonka that was also like seven <laughs> so at some point I might dye my hair darker who knows like I don't know if you can see but that part of my hair is severe like lighter I don't know if you can see or if it looks like it's literally just the light but that part you can literally see the change there from here down is where my hair was dyed blue I'm someone that strongly believes your natural hair colour suits you the most um, unless it's like an unnatural colour like pink or blue or whatever but I strongly do believe that your natural hair colour suits you the most because it's in your genetics and yeah I just think it's naturally like the most like suitable colour for you except I will say I love my mum's hair colour and I think my mum's hair colour suits her really well it's like a dark um a really really dark purple and like in the sun it literally like shines purple and it's genuinely gorgeous I'm not gonna curl my front pieces yet because I'm gonna have to pin my hair back to do my makeup if you watched my last video which I suggest you go and watch um, I talked about how I bought a new foundation and I genuinely really really like it. I'm gonna be using it now. I don't use it every day because like I said I'm lazy and kind of depressed. So <laughs> um, yeah like some days I feel good enough to put makeup on and some days I don't put any on. And it's just one of those things um, that's gonna happen. Also I'm like if it's gonna rain I would rather just have a bare face because Makeup can go a horrible texture when it rains and I just rather wouldn't have to deal with that What was I gonna say? The thought has just exited my brain Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Yeah, also that's it. I've also kind of just totally stripped my makeup routine and literally all I'm doing at the minute is Washing my face or if I'm too lazy then I'll use like micellar water but I'm like just washing my face, Neutrogena face wash, and just using um, moisturiser which is my Nivea one. And my skin actually seems okay, like my skin seems good. Skincare, sometimes stripping it back and just doing uh, really basic steps like that is really good for your skin. I recommend, especially with the change of season. I don't know what kind of eye makeup to do. But it's getting dark so I need to hurry the hell up. Also, if you're feeling kind of sluggish and not good, like how I am at the minute, um, I definitely recommend cleaning your room. Um, I've had to do it quite a few times over the past couple of weeks because I do just let like my clothes build up. But like changing your bed sheets and like reorganising a few things so everything's less cluttered really like helps. I don't know why but it just does really help. I tend to always do it when I'm feeling a bit lost and things like that it just helps with me mentally it's really bad but because i spend so much time in my room like having a clean room really like helps my mental state and almost tries to like reflect my mind my mind will like reflect on my room so if i force myself to clean my room then it's gonna help my mind i feel like my eyes still look like hella baggy <laughs> i think the most frustrating thing that I'm having to like deal with at the moment is knowing exactly where I want to be this time next year like I'm not lost because I have a goal of where I want to be next year and what I need to do in order to get there but I just have zero motivation to do it and it's really frustrating um because if I don't get my shit together then I won't be where I want to be and it will just like not necessarily screw everything up but it will be really disappointing for myself um so i really hope this period passes and like passes soon because i have things i have ucas i have actual a levels like that that i literally need to do or i'm gonna be more depressed also i don't want everyone to be like thinking I'm trying to make you feel bad for me if anything I'm trying to make myself feel better by doing this and help anyone else that's also in this position um like I literally want to do like um like a video to like change people's mindsets because I've definitely learned things 
over the past couple of years that I just want to share with the world that will hopefully like completely change people's mindsets about themselves and things they want to do in life because there's literally I've told the advice to some of my friends at school and they were like oh my god that's literally like changed my mindset like that is such a good piece of advice that is such a good thing to think and I need to like somehow make a video that will like make sense to talk about it in I might literally just do like a motivational video like watch this to completely change your mindset um like something like that <laughs> like to be honest it'd probably be good to talk about it in this video but I want to like collect my thought thoughts and like prepare first and I also want to make it like visually enjoyable to watch I'm gonna go away and finish my makeup and then I'll be back because we need to choose an outfit so yeah I will be back my makeup is done my eyeliner is not equal but what what did you actually expect um I've got to do my fringe and then I've got to decide on an outfit. I actually hate picking outfits because I have outfits that I love but I just can't wear them all the time. Like, I've got a black dress that I want to wear but I literally wear that all the time. Um, and I just have clothes that I don't wear that I like but and I should wear more. This is them. They are quite long, not gonna lie. But what I do is I take my straightener and I've already like previously straightened it just to like get all the frizz out. I take it and I curl it backwards so and then it will kind of end like that and then I like curl it and let it sit for a minute so you can see it my my bestest friend in the whole entire world Etta taught me how to do this so shout out to Etta I love and miss you dearly and then I just do the same on the other side Like that, and then I'm gonna let them sit for like a few seconds. I'm gonna turn my straighteners off, wrap it up, and unplug them. And then I'm gonna tuck one behind my ears, and then I'll show you what it's like in a bit. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and decide on an outfit. I'm gonna ask a couple of my friends, and um, now I'll be back with the fit check. Outfit, oh wow, that is unflattering. I think. Oh my god. Right, this is what my hair like looks like it will drop this is like outfit number one i've got black flared trousers on and this like top from shein which has a back like this I had to turn my big light on and shut my blind because i didn't want to scare any of my neighbors by them seeing me naked um <laughs> so yeah I feel like these trousers make me look so short, like it's embarrassing. I don't know, I think trousers might be a better option just because it is freezing. Um, so I actually might not even bother trying another outfit on and I might stay in this. I don't know, but I also kind of want to wear a dress because it's not very many chances that I get to wear a dress. I'm staying in this outfit because I actually really can't be asked to get changed. I also feel cute and I feel mentally better right now for getting ready and forcing myself to go out. I don't actually know what time we're going out though. Yeah, this is what I look like, obviously. I tried some like heeled boots on with the trousers and they are not it, so I'm just going to end up wearing my Air Force <laughs> as usual. Um, if you're feeling like me, Force yourself up to go out with friends and try and not think about whatever the hell is getting you down and just make yourself look hot because I've definitely been neglecting my appearance lately, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, let me know how you actually are in the comments and I'll reply and stuff because connecting with people on the internet fulfills me with something that I can't even explain. So yeah i hope you're all doing well and if you're not doing so well then i hope it gets better and um thank you for watching this video if you want to see more from me then subscribe and um yeah goodbye oh i f hate ending videos it's so awkward <laughs>